Head-on crash leaves four hospitalized in Sheboygan County. Teen drives into pedestrian and parked cars in Sheboygan. Manor to Walk police are asking for the public's help with retail theft. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, October 15th, 2019. A head-on crash in Sheboygan County leaves four people hospitalized. The two-vehicle crash happened around 8 p.m. Saturday on State Highway 28 near Sheboygan County SS in the town of Scott. Authorities say it happened when a 28-year-old man from West Bend was headed south and then suddenly crossed into the northbound lane where he hit a pickup truck driven by a 30-year-old Sheboygan man. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office, there was a passenger in each vehicle and all four were taken into the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The driver from West Bend is identified as Benjamin Kolowski, who was cited for inattentive driving. The accident still remains under investigation. One teen is in serious condition while another is facing possible charges after an incident over the weekend in Sheboygan County. Police say a 13-year-old pedestrian was hit by a car that also hit three legally parked vehicles at the intersection of North 13th Street and School Avenue. This happened on Saturday afternoon around 2 o'clock, and according to the Sheboygan Police Department, the teen who was struck suffered serious injuries and remains hospitalized. The 16-year-old driver was taken into custody, and the investigation is still ongoing. The Manor to Walk Police Department is asking for your help in identifying two persons suspected in a retail theft incident. According to the department's Facebook page, Officer Brett Verdevelt is requesting help identifying the male and female subjects and their vehicle, described as a blue Chevy Tracker ZR2 with tr gray trim on the wheels, wells, and the doors without plates displayed. If you have information, you are asked to call the Manitowoc Police Department Shift Commander or Crime Stoppers. The Manitowoc Police Department Shift Commander can be reached at 920-686-6551. Crime Stoppers can be reached at 920-283-4466. When providing information, please reference the MTPD case at number 2019-0001537. Stephen Avery serving a life prison term for the murder of Teresa Halbach has filed an appeal for a new trial. His lawyer Kathleen Zellner filed a brief on Monday morning with the Wisconsin Court of Appeals. She argues that complex legal issues involved in the case and lingering questions about evidence used at the original trial are reasons why the case should be reopened. A judge in the Sheboygan County has already rejected a motion for the new trial, and Avery and his nephew, Brendan Dassey, are now subjects of the Netflix documentary, Making a Murderer which has raised questions about their convictions. Dassey's appeals have been turned down by the U.S. Supreme Court, and he is pleading to the Governor Tony Evers' clemency. An investigation is underway in Manitowoc County after a barn fire Thursday night. It happened in the Keele area just before midnight, and officials say there was heavy smoke and the barn was fully engulfed in flames when they arrived at the scene on Rape Road near Town Line Road. No one was injured and there were no animals in the barn, which is used to store machinery and vehicles. According to officials, a total of four counties responded to the size of the fire, and the blaze did leave behind damage to a large machinery shed and two adjoining garages. 
The cause is still under investigation. And finally, if you buy health insurance on the federal marketplace, you'll have more options next year. Wisconsin's insurance commissioner announced yesterday that Sheboygan is one of the six counties going from three to four providers available during the open enrol enrollment period that begins November 1st. In addition to more choice, rates on the individual market, which includes plans available on healthcare.gov, will be over 3% lower than rates the previous year. Molina Healthcare of Wisconsin joins Common Ground, Dean Health Plan, and WPS providing options for Sheboygan County residents. Although a particular company may not cover all addresses within the county, you should visit healthcare.gov or a licensed broker assistant to determine your options. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.